while designing a certain mechanical component and finally uh, manufacturing it, uncertainties will arise due to different reasons. Uh, could be due to corrosion or variability on the load or the effect of uh, thermomechanical uh, uh, properties, uh, thermomechanical treatment on properties or the composition of the material and so on. And those uncertainties will be uh, addressed by what we call the design factor. So the design factor uh, is denoted by N subscript D and is defined as the loss of function parameter over the maximum allowable parameter. And the parameter here could be a load, could be a torque, uh, could be uh, something else. Okay? The loss of function parameter is defined as 1 over 1 minus the variance due to uncertainty. Okay, and the maximum allowable parameter is defined as 1 over 1 plus the variance. Our objective is to improve the design factor. And in order to improve or to increase the design factor, you need to increase the loss of function parameter. And in order to increase the loss of function parameter, that's why we use the negative sign in here. We need to decrease the denominator. Okay, so once you decrease the denominator, you increase the loss of function parameter, you increase the design factor, you improve it. And you need to decrease the maximum allowable parameter, and in order to decrease this parameter, you need to increase uh, the denominator, okay, by having a plus. Okay, so our objective is uh, to have a better and a higher value of design factor which make the component safer. Uh, take into an example like uh, you have a shaft and uh, the load uh, at which failure could occur is uh, 100 uh, kilo newton. And it's known for us that the load variability or uncertainty is plus minus 10%. Then the load uh, varies the load could be 100, could be something a little bit more by 10% or less by 10%. So it is between 100 minus 10% of the 100 kilonewton or uh, maximum plus 10% of the 100 kilonewton, which is uh, the load variability is between um, 90 kilonewton and 110 kilonewton. So in order to be on the safe uh, side, you need to take the worst case scenario. And the load that causes failure, uh, the worst case scenario is 110 kilonewton. And that's why we take this into consideration. Let, let me take an example and, uh, on the design factor and how we calculate this parameter. Um, we are given um, uh, that the maximum load on a structure, this is the maximum load on the structure, is known with an uncertainty of plus minus 20%. Okay, and the load causing failure, okay, is within plus minus 15%. If the load causing failure is uh, nominally at uh, 10 kN, determine the design uh, factor. Okay, we will discuss what is the nominal um, later on, what is the nominal. Uh, uh, stress uh, de determine the design factor we need to determine the design factor okay and then we will uh, need to obtain the maximum allowable load we know that the, the design factor and d is equal to the loss of function parameter over the maximum allowable Parameter. Okay, the loss of function parameter is equal to 1 over 1 minus the variance due to uncertainty, right? And uh, the loss of function uh, parameter, okay, is due to the load that causes uh, failure, okay? So, which is uh, 15%.
So in this case, we are taking the percentage as our parameter, the variation, okay, over the maximum allowable parameter is 1 over 1 plus the 20% due to the maximum load, maximum allowable parameter due to maximum load, uh, and the variance is 20%. Okay, this is equal to 1 over 15% is 0 0.15, 1 minus 0 0.15 is 0 0.85 over 1 over 1.2. Then we have 1.2 over 0 0.85, which is equal to 1.4. Okay, so this is the design factor. Okay, design factor is equal to 1.4. Now, if we are given uh, in this case, we are using the percentages, the variance. Now we want to determine the maximum allowable load. Okay, the maximum allowable load. Okay, the parameter here is replaced with the load is equal to loss of function parameter over MD. So the maximum allowable load is equal to loss of function loss of function load over and the, the design factor which is equal to 10 kN over 1.4 and this is equal to uh, 7.1 kN so the load that causes failure is 10 kN, but because there is a variation of 15%, uh, um, we need to be on the safe side. And the maximum allowable load we should um, induce inside the, this component is 7.1 kN. So although it can hold 10 kN, we need uh, mean to take into consideration that the maximum allowable load that we can apply to this component is 7.1 kN to just to stay on the safe side due to the uncertainties in both the uh, uh, the load causing failure and the maximum allowable load on this section uh, we discussed the design factor based on a deterministic way yeah, we were able to formulate uh, mathematical uh, equation in order to determine the design factor uh, and in upcoming sections we will discuss the factor of safety and compare it to the design factor and we will also discuss after that the statistical way or the stochastic way which is based on statistical data and probability probabilistic uh, uh, techniques in order to determine uh, the design factor and factor of safety see you